Hi everybody, it's Steph here and today what we're going to do is show you another pen of mine and here we have ladies and gentlemen the clues in the letters there yes you can see it's a Schaefer fountain pen as you can see it comes in this blue uh, sprung hard case um, it comes with the original instructions here and it tells you how to fill the pen with a converter and a cartridge and uh, I think it also shows us the um, how to um, use the pencil. You can see it's got the original purchase date which is uh, 1978 which um, sounds about right because this particular pen was launched um, in the region of the 1970s um, and what we have here ladies and gentlemen is absolutely lovely uh, a lovely example of a Schaefer Triumph uh, Imperial fountain pen. Now this particular one, um, the model number is a 444 and some, sometimes known as the CT because it comes in this lovely um, brushed, um, brushed chrome if you like pattern and if you look to the top of the to the, or to the bottom of the cap there you can see it tells us that it's a Schaefer and it also tells us that it was made in USA okay now this particular model with it being the CT tells us as I say it comes in this brushed chrome uh, pattern it also comes with a chrome chrome trim there and if we take the cap off there and show you the pen and the cap together there you can see absolutely lovely what you'll also notice which we'll cover in a moment it's got this inlaid stainless steel uh, nib. Now the next model to this one is the 444X now basically everything else is the same with that particular model the only difference being is the trim or the clip is now gold plated so it comes with a gold plated uh, clip to the top there with uh, as you can see it's got the white dot um, and the next one is the 444XG and the difference there, it comes again with a gold-plated uh, gold plated trim or the clip. And the difference on the 444XG, it now comes with a 14 karat gold inlaid nib. As I say, this particular one is just this, the, the basic Schaefer 444 uh, in, in brushed, brushed chrome. And as I say, it comes with this gorgeous inlaid um, stainless steel stainless steel nib okay which I'm hoping you can see there tells us to the top it says Schaefer and then right down to the bottom of the uh, the diamond if you like you can see it tells us it's USA okay so let's give you a different angle you can see it comes with this beautiful black uh, section here let's show you the feed underneath there the standard feed on this particular pen let's give you a sideways view okay as you can see it's got a lovely blob of uh, blob to the tip there which I assume isn't iridium. you may assume it's stainless steel in this particular case if we undo or if we take the barrel off you can see the pen here it comes with the standard Schaefer converter which basically what happens is you press the bar here to fill this sack underneath. These particular pens also can be fitted with a standard Schaefer cartridges as well. But what we'll do, let's, uh, let's fill the pen up. So if we bring on our ink, what we simply do, we simply press the bar here uh, numerous times. In this particular case, what I'll do is dip the nib into the ink and all I'll do is just give it a couple of presses, wait a couple of seconds, shake it off like so, bring on a bit of tissue, let's just give it a wipe and let's reinstate the, the barrel there. So what we need to do now, let's bring on the pad and as I say ladies and gentlemen, what we have here is a uh, just a little bit of skipping there because this is the first time the pen has actually been written with since I've serviced it so we've got a Schaefer um, as I say this one's actually the Triumph 
um, Imperial like so um, as I say this particular one was launched in the region of the 1970s although we know this particular one is from 1978 okay and there we have it it's right in with a I'd say a fine a fine to medium line as with most chafers with these inlaid nibs there's no flexibility because they are they are quite hard okay but all in all ladies and gentlemen an absolutely beautiful writer so there you have uh, a writing sample for the pen if we just pop that to one side so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this as a little bit briefer than my normal videos so there we have it an absolutely beautiful example of the Schaefer Triumph Imperial this particular model is the 444 comes with a chrome trim um, comes in this lovely brushed um, chrome let's try and give you a little bit of a close up there okay all in all an absolutely lovely pen so there we have it the Schaefer Triumph Imperial 444 I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I've enjoyed showing it to you um, plenty more videos on my channel go and have a look at them leave some comments don't be shy but for now I'll just simply say bye bye now